you think I would have enjoyed it. The only thing I could have gone to was this thing called the Olive Drop downtown at a Frank Lloyd Wright skyscraper. My friends were there. Man, I can't get the chat room to pull up. I don't know what's going on. What's going on? Aaron Echo. Aaron Echo. Echo. Barco. How are you? I'm trying to uh, finish my breakfast. And yeah. Up. Yeah. Like my usual routine is to get up at this time and do a show and then go to work. So, what day is it? It is. It is. January first. Oh, that's good. Uh, so you're probably off work. Well, what? I mean, I guess I should say I wish I was off work. So. Well, what type of work do you do? What type of work do I do? The monetarily remunerative type. I work in a place where they give me a paycheck for being there every so often. So, well, what type of work do you do? gathered that. Well, you know, I've always told people that I'm on disability, and I am. I'll try to get off a of disability, like uh, find a job that would pay me. But I'm just not consistently money. healthy. So, how do you how do you get on disability? I'd like to get on disability. I'd like to free well, I used to work at an insurance company. I was on the board of directors, and I had a lot of quarters. Apparently, according to the Social Security office, but then there was a lapse between that job and a lot of surgeries, a lot of illnesses. So, I wish I had filed sooner. I wish I had filed sooner. I would have got more per month. Okay. Desiree? Yeah. For what purpose? The. Because I'm trying to write this girl a fucking text message, and then she, she told me her name, and I don't know how to spell her name. So. I'm trying to her name's her name. Desiree. Yeah, that's not her super name. Her super name's in Olivia, but that's her real name. She says. So. Desiree. That, yeah, isn't that weird? Her, she has a stripper name for a real name. And yeah. She but she's. Hell, health, I know. I just offhand, I don't want to lead you down a wrong path when it comes to that. So, you don't I don't know. know. Well, I would take a stab at it, but Go ahead. let me look at some different variations of Desiree. We'll do it that way. Different ver variations of Desiree. Desiree. She could, she could just be trolling me, but I don't think though, because she's not strippers that smart. And again, it's your well, not strippers. Whoops. My keyboard, when my keys doesn't work well. Hmm. I didn't spell variations correctly. Let me fix that. <laughs> Very. Why, why would you? What are you, why are you looking at variations? That, that's not her name. Is not variations. Well, no, different ways. Okay, I'll put different ways of spelling name ways. ways. Yeah. Let's see. Um, D e s i r e e. Or. Hmm. We could go to the Baby Making Center and find out. What's the Baby Making Center? It's called the Baby Center. It's the Baby Making Center. That's what they refer to it as. Which I think is kind of strange. But. They talk, they talk about accents used with vowels. French. Is she French? I really think it's D-E-S-I-R-E-E. -E -E. Desiree. I would go with that one. I really do. Now, if she's ethnic, maybe D E Z I R E E. But then that'd make you look stupid, you know, so I wouldn't do it that way. Well, unless white trash is considered an ethnicity now, then. <laughs> How is RD? Is he saying something in the chat room? I, I don't know. He's fucked off. He's so out of his element right now because of the whole move thing. And 
with his woman being home during the day, which he doesn't like. So it's like. Well, are they moving today and tomorrow then? Or because I wondered about that if it'd be the first of the month. No, they moved. Uh, he said the 29th they were moving, so they should be moved. But she's still at home right now, so he doesn't know what to do with the woman around. You know, that's not his thing. He doesn't know how to use his equipment, or. Well, you got to romance people, you know. You like, and I think women need to romance men as well because it, it should go both ways. And I think women forget how sensitive a man can be and emotional. I know I do. I mean, look at the ways I, I yell at Stabby and RD, and even you, I yell at you. And I'm very sorry. I'm going to turn over a new leaf this year. I really am. And yell at um, Apocalypse instead. Um, I don't know about that. Apocalypse doesn't really come around. And I don't even have him blocked anymore, so. I actually unblocked everybody except for a few. Why would you block anybody? I mean, well, when they cause so much commotion. And you know the dumpster. I just, I just don't want her around. Why would I want a dumpster around? I mean, come on. I don't go to her shows. That's what boggles my mind. She comes to my shows quite often, you know, and maybe not for a while because she can't talk in my room. But then she comes under different names, and I eventually know it, know that it's her because she starts saying things like that. Everybody hates you, when she types in the chat room. And that's something she says quite often. You know, just a lot of key phrases that she says, and maybe it's because she is a low-level thinker. I don't know. Is that where you picked that up from, then? Because you do that to people. What do I do? Say that everybody hates them. No, I do not. Now, I've done that to Stabby and Apocalypse because they were sent by her. I did it to you. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sincerely sorry if I did. No, but I'm saying you're doing exactly what she does, and yet you criticize her for it. So what's up with that? Well, I don't. You'd have to bring some audio where I actually said, everybody hates you. Nobody likes you. You know, I may have said that sarcastically to Stabby, and he would have understood that when he was telling me to uh, shut the fuck up, you know. Stabby's like, you know, he's like uh, a puppy dog. You can't hate a puppy dog. Uh, I wouldn't say hate, but not like his behavior. Well, he can be annoying him, and he'll chew up your shoes and, you know, bring Well, he pisses on them, and he shits everywhere. Then you step in the shit, and it's just a big mess. Well, then you just throw them in the bathroom. That's all you have to do is throw them in the bathroom. Eventually, somebody will hose them off, and then he can come back out and play. It seems like the only thing that he understands is being, you know, banned in the bathroom. So maybe that's what we all have to do. Yeah. But I think he actually likes it. I think he likes it. Oh, yeah. Well, he likes the attention. The importance. It feels important to be banned. So, Barco. What do you think of all my listen while you tweet shows? How do they sound? Because they're really for one population. I wonder how they sound to the regular person. Uh, I don't think I listen to them. I, I saw them and I clicked on them and I probably clicked like. Oh, that's yeah, sweet. Like I no, I mean, I didn't actually listen. No, I just do that. Okay. I, well, I was just wondering because, I mean, I really don't expect a lot of likes and things like that because. You know, it's such a narrow field, and, you know, we were trying to get on CNN tonight, you know, Kathy Griffith and, oh, Anderson Cooper. We were trying to, because they were reading tweets. Oh, they were reading tweets, okay. Yeah. We were discussing that at the other bar I went to tonight. Yeah? That was Griffith. Mm-hmm. Because uh, this bar by me is, like, it's Detroit, so there's, like, a... Inter, not interracial bar, but you know, there's a lot of black people there. And there was this, what's her name? Bri Brianna or something? She's a really good singer and stuff. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the bartenders are all racist pricks. I mean, not pricks, they're chicks, so. Are they black um, then? No, no, no. There's hardly any black dudes there. It's like, it's mostly like. Oh, I got white. you. One of the few know. white hideouts there. Yeah, well, no, I, pretty much, um, unless you go to the suburbs, you pretty much. 
probably at least one third to half the people at any restaurant or bar be black. You to deal with it. But the bartenders, these chicks, I know they're uh, Krista and uh, what the fuck's the other name? I don't know. Anyhow, they're. We'll they, call her Alfie. We'll call her Alfie. They thought they could, you know, on the slide talk shit about this black chick to me. And so mm -hmm. they did, and the black chick that they were talking shit about her, which this other guy. Like, dude, you sh everybody, knows you shouldn't. Oh, he's like, why are you stirring shit? I'm right. Like, he's actually, he was actually right because the uh, the Brianna chick felt really bad because she was kind of outnumbered, so she went outside and cried. So I had to go out there and console. Oh her. my gosh, I felt bad for her, especially when somebody has a really good voice and to be discounted because of the the color of your humanity, you know, whatever color of skin you are. That's kind of yeah, crazy. Well, she, Yeah. Is, one of the bar, the reason I did because one of the uh, came over there and said, "Oh, I thought you, you know." She tried to pretend like I didn't like the um, the black girl, the singer. Mm -hmm. so, which I was like, you know, she's oh, are you, are you, she was. Are you guys getting along? Do I need to separate you two or something? I'm like, because we were talking a lot. Maybe that that was just. And so I was like, just thought also. Oh, so, I see. So I told her that, but then I didn't realize how sensitive these black people can be. They don't understand it, and the other dude's like, dude. She, Said that I was like okay, I had to go outside. And then she was makeup is running, and then she gave me her number. But she's Aww. well, is she pretty? Oh my God, yeah, very pretty. Big old, big old ass and titties. Jesus Christ. Man. Well, maybe you should give her a call back. Well, no, I've got this desert raisin gun. I got a picture of desert raisin somewhere here. Mm-hmm. So, did you have a good uh, night's sleep? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, Two hours. Uh, Last I checked my time, well, I think it was like 10.30, and I was like, okay, because I had been working at like 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. so, um, and then I went to a couple other places I know. That's where I met the stripper Desiree, and then I came over to this place by where I live. And then at that point, I just like, when I went outside, I just like, fuck it, I'm going home. And I went home, and I said, no, I woke up and I'm talking to you, which is very fucking weird. So, you know, I never did thank you for something you did for me last year. It was very sweet. Whatever I did, it was an attempt to troll you, so you should probably not embarrass yourself by thanking me. No, it's when you read that article for me that how many African American boys will have autism as a result of the CDC's lies. It was written August 27, 2014, by my friend Marcella Piper Terry, and you are kind enough to read it for me. To your people. I, don't, I think Marcella's a girl's name or a dude's name. Whoever they are, they're a good writer. Well, thank you. Marcella. Yeah, she was actually named after Raggedy Ann. Remember the Raggedy Ann doll? Yeah, but I didn't know anything. Marcella had anything to do with that. Well, there was a writer named John. I forget his last name. He had a daughter named Marcella. And Marcella had a smallpox vaccine forced upon her and she died as a result of the smallpox vaccine back in 1915 so his her dad was a writer and he wrote a lot of comment strips and he started writing uh, a strip of comments about raggedy ann and then andy came later and she became uh the poster child of the anti-vaccine movement back in the early 1900s Oh, yes, there was back in the early 1900s because he no, started. No, yes, you... there was. There was an anticipatory vaccine. Oh, someday there's going to be vaccines and we're going to rail against them. No, there was the smallpox vaccine, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I think you're making stuff up left and right. No, I'm not. you got to get off the anti-vaccine thing. It's not. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry people have kids who are not all there, but it's nothing to do with vaccines. It's because of having kids at the wrong time, have been unhealthy uh -huh. kids. Because of, I, I, I disagree I, with you. I buy into the hygiene hypothesis, which is that we become so sterile and clean that our that mothers' in own immune systems do not have enough germs to fight. So once they get, and think about this, once they get a fetus in their body, their immune system, which has been sitting around doing nothing all the time, you know, playing Xbox, smoking weed, watching Ew. TV, all of a sudden. There's, there's another life form inside the host, and their job is to attack other life forms, right? 
so they attack the fetus and they eat this fetus's brain. That is where you get autism. Oh my gosh. You and I have to talk. That, that is not the case. I know that was not the case for myself. You know, I